Hi everybody, I hope you're all blessed and well in the Lord. In today's video, I wanted to update you all on the vision that I had about the attack. Um, so the same exact day I shared that vision, something happened at two local grocery stores that I shop at frequently. Um, so I'm going to show you the news stories. And then I'm going to get back to that. Walmart and a strip mall on South 27th Street are back open following two Sunday evacuations. Scary moments for people in the wake of last weekend's mass shootings in El Paso, Texas and Dayton, Ohio. 12 News Sarah Tamer leads us off here tonight live near 27th and College. Sarah, do we know if today's two incidents are connected? Well, Ben, I asked police. They didn't confirm if the two incidents were related, but here's what I can confirm with you. They tell me the main threat was at the Dollar Tree here where a manager called 911 for a suspicious package in the store. Police say there was a suspect in the area, but they have not located that suspect yet. Police evacuated all of the surrounding businesses for safety purposes. Now this lasted, I'm told, for about two hours. We spoke to a cousin subs employee at the strip mall who was told to leave during the investigation. It's, it's kind of scary, Anna. For anyone doubting this news story, I just wanted to tell you that I know this girl here personally. Um, I've ordered cousin subs from her many times. And um, yeah, so she's one of the employees. And this is not fake news. This is a real thing that happened. Um, luckily, I was not shopping over here that day, but... Um, yeah, here we go. Sleep, like, I was just taken back. Like, I didn't know that that could really happen, I guess. Um, definitely not something I think would happen. I've been working here for three years, so I've never seen anything like it. Sarah Tamer here live with us once again. Sarah, have police said if there is still a threat? Ben, I did ask an officer on scene. They say they don't believe there's a threat to the public at this time. Sarah Tamer leading us off tonight live in Greenfield. And as we mentioned, that evacuation happened just hours after another at the Franklin Walmart on 27th Street. Take a look at just how close those two locations are. We've learned that a bomb scare forced the Walmart evacuation. Police told 12 News the store manager called them saying... That I've seen that girl before too. So yeah, like I said, these are stores that I shop at almost every day, um, or I'm in this area definitely every day. There may be an explosive device inside, but after a search, detectives say they did not find anything. At least eight other Walmart stores across the country have received some sort of threat in the last week after the mass shootings at the El Paso Walmart. And this is the most updated story so far. six months, Franklin police have responded to several bomb threats at the Walmart on South 27th Street. Sunday morning, it happened again. There was a, a note that was left. There was no actual device, but we did uh, check the store with the explosive detection dogs. Just a few hours later, Brown Deer police responded to this Walmart. They say an unidentified caller said there were four people in the parking lot who were going to shoot up the store. Police quickly determined it was a hoax. Eight other Walmarts across the country had similar threats. Shoppers on edge everywhere after the mass shooting at a Texas Walmart. We're always prepared for the worst. We handle these at an individual basis, and our primary concern is the public safety. Next door to the Franklin Walmart, at Sam's Club, a man shot another man over a parking spot last month. Police say they've stepped up patrols. Customers say their big box store shopping habits remain the same. Big box stores. Nope. Not afraid to go in. Oh, not at all. If it's going to happen, it's going to happen. It's, it sucks, but I mean, I'm not too nervous about it. It's, it's such a rare thing, even though we hear it on the news all the time. It's, it's still a rarity that it happens. In Franklin and Brown Deer, Walmart has security cameras and plenty of signage. You think they should step up security? I think definitely in the areas that have been affected by it. Like you said, you stay on high alert, but other than that, it's not like you're going to stop going here. In Franklin, Hillary Mintz, WISN, 12 News. 12 News, ask Walmart. So yeah, I just find that pretty strange that that happened the same exact day that I had that vision. Someone had asked me what a jihadist is, so I just wanted to go over that real quick. 
Jihadist refers to a person who believes that an Islamic state governing the entire community of Muslims must be created and that this necessity justifies violent conflict with those who stand in its way. So yeah, basically they get really violent and aggressive and are known to terrorize people.